Hello ladies and gentlemen of the internet, it's Needle here and welcome back to the basement. Last time we had a couple of good runs, both of them were with Azazel I guess, so it's kind of like easy mode. But we got them done, we got a heart kill and we also got greed mode done, which means we can now play as Lilith. First things first, we're going to check the daily challenge, it is Eve. I may do that actually as one of our runs, but um, for the first one today, not so sure who we should try. I don't really want to do another greed mode run right now. We have pretty much everyone except Judas unlocked at this point, so it's kind of up to us who we want to go with. I want to try someone who's not beat the heart yet, so that rules out Isaac and Azazel, so I think I'm going to pick Samson. Samson's pretty good because of his little latent ability that the more damage he takes on a floor, the more damage he then dishes out, so... This is a start, and I think it's Mom's contact. Lost contact, shielded tears. Not a bad start, it's something that can come in quite useful. Protect us from pointless damage, because everyone knows I take a hell of a lot of pointless damage. <laughs> so yeah. Been out of the game for a while, I uh, recorded a couple episodes last week. Just making sure we're out of time, because it's not last week right now as I'm recording. But it will be, whenever this is put out. Uh, last week and... Right as I went to upload them, I had a bit of a problem with the internet, so I couldn't actually get them out to you guys on time. I went up a little bit late, but I'm going to try and keep the schedule tight. As you can, as you know, I'm trying to find something different to do on a Friday. So once I get that sorted out, I think that'll also make things a little bit better. As Ragman here's causing us not too much, too much issues. We're not doing a lot of damage, unfortunately. That's why I hate getting them on the first floor because they can just run at you like this and just cause you. To get distracted by his kind of little extra heads. Thankfully, because we have all like, this, is just frustrating as hell. Um, bomb time. So that helped. Thankfully, because of shielded tears here, we're actually doing not too bad in that department. We're actually blocking his attacks. And of course, the way Samson works, the more damage we take in this fight, the more damage we're actually going to deal to him. So I don't actually mind taking maybe another half heart. Because it'll probably finish this fight off a little bit faster. First floor, you can't really get a double run anyway, so we've got nothing really to fear from that. Oh, come on. But yeah, still looking for some suggestions for Fridays, I'm not too sure what I want to do there. I was thinking of obviously doing something similar like Borderlands, but at the same time, I feel like that's the kind of thing you really want to do with friends, and I don't really have any friends who can play co op with me at the moment. Okay, this guy's gonna die now. Come on. Okay, so he's down. There's some hearts. Spider shouldn't be too much problems now. And there we go, and we got Mr. Dolly ranging tears up, and yeah, three hearts of some kind. Secret room could potentially be back out here. Oh, we didn't use our bomb when we should have. That was silly of me, but thankfully we're full health with three extra hearts going down to the next floor. Right. Speaking of that, of course, the time it is right now, it's coming up to Christmas, and I'm also looking for some Christmas Day to do, that's where I thought Borderlands could come in. Because, of course, in the second game, at least, there is a sort of Christmas mini expansion, I wouldn't call it an expansion. That's Mom's Pearl. I don't want to pick up in case it's Crushed Eye, but Crushed Eye is an item, not a pick up. So, yeah, I think that means more. I think I could be wrong, but I, I did think this meant uh, more. White hearts, a caramel heart. That's what we're going for there. There, grab a key, try out this. Amnesia! Not the worst pill, but not the greatest pill either. That's fine. So, yeah, I thought it'd be a good idea. I'm not too sure what other kind of Christmassy games or add ons there is. Um, if I come across anything between now and then, I'll certainly let you guys know on Twitter. This is Seraphim Swarm Friend. Not a great item either. Uh, Dolly and Shielded Contact have actually been pretty good for us in terms of what they bring to the table. Ugh. The tier rate that we got up from Mr. Dolly is absolutely brilliant. I've never really noticed that before. I think I only usually get it when I'm already winning quite heavily on runs or if I'm using the basement seed, so <laughs> it doesn't really make a difference to my overall playstyle. I'm noticing it today, this is just a completely blank room. We're okay as long as this little guy over here doesn't catch fire. Yeah, it's fine. So, fingers crossed an easy boss, it's always monstro. If you don't get monstro on this first floor, you're always going to get him on the second floor. So we're doing good here. Thanks to the extra hearts, we can take one and a half hearts of damage. Get our damage boosted, our bloodlust, and 
No, I actually need to worry too much. Probably going to get a double deal, double deal here, hopefully. Something good or maybe even something quite bad. Alright, okay. Just trying to not pick up the heart pickup. Hmm. Okay. I think the mark was kind of worth it, especially for what we were kind of paying for it. So we add that to bloodlust damage whenever it kind of procs. Hopefully we pick up a couple more eternal hearts or not eternal hearts, but soul hearts and or dark hearts. Like that one right there that we totally need. And it lets us take a few more hits without needing to worry about our red heart damage. But at the same time it'll boost bloodlust and give us a good chance. I like where we're going so far. I don't think this is the worst run we've had. I don't like these enemies right enough. Yeah, there we go. Don't have any bombs. Never seen this item before. It looks like an Oculus. Tech X, laser ring tears. Oh, not too sure about that. Uh. Okay, I mean it's good I guess you can, can hit enemies at different points, whether they're kind of behind you or whatever. Hmm. Health. Health down is an awful pill. I mean I guess it's going to be useful for an enemy like Larry Jr. <laughs> exactly. Doing that. I mean I guess I'm glad we got the mark, because at least at this point we're doing kind of decent damage with it. It doesn't take too long to charge either, which is actually pretty good. I don't know. I guess there's worse items out there. I mean, it's taking down these guys pretty quickly, so I don't know how bad it really is. Ah, okay. We'll run with it for now. I guess there's nothing we can do about it now. Two of spades. I think that doubles your bombs. I mean, yeah, it's pretty decent damage, I guess. Okay. <laughs> there's boss rooms right here. The frail. Uh, yeah, I don't really like this boss. Thankfully, never mind. I was gonna say, <laughs> thankfully, just like him, they're pretty easy to take down. But that's totally not true. It would seem. Ah, there it goes. Didn't get any special room. Nope, we got soul heart though, and tears and shot speed up. So that's good. Making good progress actually, what time are we actually got here? As a check at the top of the screen, 6 minutes already. In Caves 2, that's not too bad. We already got the heart pick up earlier in the run, so I don't think we can get it again. At least I'm sure, I know items can repeat, but usually only once you've emptied the item pool, so I don't think we can get it again. Nah, I don't think we would. No problem. So these guys are going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Or not. <laughs> the exact opposite of a pain in the ass. A delightful pinch. I don't know what the exact opposite of a pain in the ass is, but. Right, no problem. See, for enemies like this, this tech X seems to be pretty good. So I can't really complain. Soul Heart's great. Awesome pickup. Let's just take a lot of that damage and still stay safe. I would like one more red heart just because I know that a lot of good devil deals actually come out of three red hearts. Although I think they might still offer us that. Even if we don't have the three. But now if we can't drop, you never know if we're going to get a bomb or not to come back. Room full of poop. What a shitty room, eh? Hey. I'm sorry guys, that won't happen again. Okay, Loki's horns could be pretty good with this thing. Ever goes off. <laughs> mystery bag, love a mystery bag. Bomb, fantastic. There were some hearts back here I want to check out, so we're gonna go do that first before we move on any further. Whoa. We just kind of need to actually get any joy out of that. Oh, we have to. Huh. No problem. Might just. Yep. And this. Awesome. So that's great on this run. We're doing alright right now. I don't know what our damage and stuff is. That. It says our damage is at 3, but it's Tech X. Seems to do kind of sustained damage. Which is pretty awesome. Ooh. 
caught out by that poop now. Grab some money. Another bomb, which is pretty useful. Alright, so we've got the boss room. It's good news. Okay, everyone dead. The Empress. I'm just wondering what that one is. I think that's the one that causes the foot to come down. Is that a high priestess? I'm not too sure what Empress does now. So that's quite nice. I think two specs. Two specs. Is that what it was? I think it was. It's actually really helped us because of the charge rate on Tech X. It's really sped up for us, which is a really good kind of pack up. The boss is Gurdy. It's non moving Gurdy, which is actually quite good for us. Problem with this Tech X thing, I'd probably say the only major problem with it is that it's the ring that causes the damage. So, enemies like these little red dudes here, <laughs> it's kind of tough to catch them in the ring. I guess this would be pretty good with Transcendent Tears, because you can give it kind of going off the wall and coming back in. You kind of do quite a lot of damage. Scabs also HP and luck up, so... Yeah, we're going to ignore that and head in here. So that's fine, that's probably a quite a good deal we could have got there. Got his head as a free item. It's a fantastic deal actually. Should not have taken damage there and <laughs> teleport to the room we're already in. HP and luck up on magic scab and a reusable fly hive. First part of Guppy, which is pretty good. Could have asked for better than that. Mind to start looking in these curse rooms here. And here is one of the problems we're going to have with Tech X, I think. You've got to try and take these guys out. It's difficult to catch them in the ring. Same for these guys, you know, they're always moving in and out. You're only going to catch them a little fraction of the time. Got a little. Oh. Oh. You see right there, there. Hopefully I'd like to take them down there, but it wasn't really an option because of Tech X. Oh, we're going to be here a while. And there we go. Good start so far to this floor. Edge it through the gap. Nice, yeah, these guys are pretty reasonable. They go down pretty simple, if you catch them in the ring correctly. Ah, so here's where we're going to have to start having problems. God damn. Actually, shout out to Seraphim there for doing some good work. Rose Rosemary? Rosary beads. Faith up. And a couple of soul hearts there as well. Okay, so, no, nah, never mind. I was going to say, hopefully, then we can kind of find a secret room on that side. I don't think it's going to happen. Nah, definitely not. And the curse room we go. It's the worst kind of curse room, unfortunately. Death in a chariot. I'll take the chariot. Through here, more of these guys. Uh, this is such a problem. <laughs> then again, sometimes it just isn't. And we're getting a lot of soul hearts, which is awesome. Oh, that's right. I was thinking, why are we doing so much more damage? But forgetting the whole point in going Samson. So go check out this. Boss room. It is a boss room, isn't it? Nah, I was hoping for some red chest there. Gonna push our luck on Guppy. Nice. I would love to get something like the wafer. I don't really think that's gonna happen. <laughs> Not unless we get chaos, I don't think, at the shop. We don't even have enough money to go to the shop. So there's not much point. The weather outside right now is insane. The reason Scotland's been having problems, especially with the internet and stuff, is that you should see the weather in this country right now. It's ridiculous. Okay. So we can get Humbling Bundle if we just get one more cent. Like that. <laughs> Everything seems to be falling in our favour right now. If I fail this run, you guys can yell at me all you want in the comments because everything that's coming up Mill House right now. So if we screw it up, it's no one's fault but my own. Exactly, it's moments like that. I hate this enemy so much. One stroke two, not too bad. One thing I'm kind of hoping for is even... I mean, you can take homing shots at this point. 
can't remember which item gives you. I know you can get weapon for dummies or the magician card, but that was pretty easy. I'm surprised by how much damage we seem to be picking up very quickly. The big old gets us an easy mom kill and an easy mom's heart kill. And to be honest, I haven't even used Guppy's head since we got it, so I think that's a good deal. I think we're even fast enough to grab Boss Rush at this point. We certainly are. If I can get a hold of maybe something that gives us a teleport, I would consider it. I don't really want to do Boss Rush. Because like I said, the last time I tried it, I found it it's actually got a lot more difficult than the original version. So we lost a heart there but gained two, so that's a, that's a one heart gain on that room. I'll take that. Shoot fat bats. Sitting up in their ivory towers, taking all our money. And the fat cats. Ah. Forget how you do this room. Nope, didn't work. God damn. Well, hopefully we're going the right way, enemy. Two bombs seems like a great deal for a skeleton key and a soul heart to me. Nice. And we actually got our bombs back. Thank you, that. And an extra two bombs. Humbling bundle coming through for us. Spider baby's also pretty good. Okay. Nice. The room couldn't have really gone any better. We're looking good. Tech X, good for these guys because it goes right through their armor. Good for this guy because he can't hide all the way over there. We don't have enough money really to take advantage of the shop. We have skill and key though, so we probably should just go in anyway and see because you never know. If we got to about even 5 cents, we could probably get a soul heart, which could be very important in the long run for us. Anything dropping here? Nothing. Go back and open it up. Yeah, nothing we've seen here. Just ignore that. Ah, yeah, that's pretty annoying. I should just really have done the let the gravity thing do its work, because that probably would have saved us all that trouble. Ah. We're doing pretty good damage here on Mum. Wow. Very good damage, I would actually say. Guys, we're probably going to be absolutely fine. There we go, easy enough. And there's the pentagram right there, which is an awesome pickup as we head down. Up to a heart of damage. I'm not too sure how that affects bloodlust. I'm not too sure if maybe I could just use the Bible. Why did I bother fighting that? <laughs> as we just realised. But um, yeah, I'm not too sure if. Okay, wow. Not too sure, uh What am I trying to say? Yeah. I'm not too sure if Samson's damage is just per hit he takes or per half heart he loses, so I'm not too sure if we take a heart of damage down here in the whim if that counts as two hits on uh on Samson. It's a pretty bad room for us what with Tech X. I'm not gonna bother with that. It's too risky. There we go. So we want to try and catch things in the corner of that circle. That's going to give us the maximum damage, probably. Thanks, Seraphim. <laughs> Knocking that out of there. So really, it's just a matter of beating this next boss and making it to the heart. One thing we can kind of hope for, I guess, is the Emperor card. Emperor card would be great for us because we can just use that on the next floor. There we go. Yeah, I was kind of unsure if he was going to get us on the sides as well. Mystery bag. Are we going to get a card out of it? Nope. The good thing is, though, is if we find something we need to kind of levitate to get to, we've now got an absolute wealth of batteries to make use of it for. Any tinted rocks here? We've got plenty of bombs right now. I didn't really think we'd get to that point. So that was pretty good. Definitely loving the high life at the moment. There we go. And these guys. 
Another mystery bag. Card. Nope. Don't even know if you can get cards to drop in those, those kind of packs, but. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta live in hope. We're in a really good position right now. I didn't actually think this run would go as well as it has. If anything, it just <laughs> puts me under more pressure because I'm notorious for messing these kind of things up. We don't really need any keys. We have 13 keys. I uh, don't even think you can come across any rooms still that we actually need keys for. You don't even have to be dead. They only require two, so I don't think we're going to run out <laughs> in the grand scheme of it. Okay, this surely must be okay. Speed down is not the worst in the world. I can live with that. At least it couldn't. At least it wasn't a uh, health down again. Okay. Nice. <laughs> That was close. A lot closer than I'd like to admit. Yeah, no bother for us. Yeah, a great heart as well. That's awesome. Boss time! The blow! I absolutely hate this boss. <laughs> and there's why. If we can keep him kind of locked up here, we have a chance. I keep forgetting that you kind of want to stay above the bloat. There you go, he's kind of down pretty fast. Thanks again to Samson the Billy. Mom's Pearls, not too sure what those do. Range and Lock Up. As for dealing here, Book of Sin. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nothing nice in there. Nothing we can need. Nothing that's worth sacrificing a couple of hearts for, at least, anyway. So here we are, we're on the final floor. An Emperor card would be great, or just very getting very lucky and finding the the boss room straight off the bat would be excellent. Ton of money, if only we could have got that a lot earlier. In fact, there's an arcade, so we can maybe make some use of this. Oh, I'm not too sure. I think these guys can give out playing cards. Half hearts are also no use down here, because I think if you're on the women you use a blood bank, like over there, I think it still takes a full heart off you anyway. So it's just not really worth the hassle. Yeah, I'm just kind of maybe going to keep going until it explodes. Soul heart, excellent. Did not know it could give you a soul heart. Do you give out cards, perhaps? Yeah, he gives out bombs. We're doing alright here. Two hearts is great. I'm not too sure if you use a blood bank anymore if it takes uh, just a red heart off you. It does. Okay, that's fine. Fine with me. It's not going to grab these. I'll just keep at it here. So you can get a couple of more double hearts. So there's like a full heart. That's okay, that's not going to go on blood bank. Fantastic. Yeah. Right. You keep going. And this is the boring part of the run. I nearly used an amnesia pill without even looking at it. That would have been fun. Well, I was kind of hoping something would have blown up by now. Are you doing hearts? Money. Oh, that's fantastic again. And there's a ton more money. Okay, we could be here for a while, so... I'm not going to mess around anymore. There's these two hearts. Um, I don't know, I mean, it's just kind of worth it to try and get the... the blood bank, in my opinion. So there's another heart. Oh, god damn, just explode already. <laughs> Even if you give us IV back, gives us some, we can move on with our lives. Tons more keys, you see why we don't need any more keys, like I said earlier. This is one we didn't have before, Hematemesis, which is actually fantastic. So now we can just keep healing up. <laughs> oh my god, when will this thing explode? Please. We have so many spiders, where did that come from? Is that the amount of damage we're taking? Oh my god, I just realised how much damage we must be building up <laughs> with Samson's ability. I really need to check these things more, but I'm so happy right now. Look how ready he is. 
And there's another double heart. Please explode and give us what we're looking for. Okay. We're definitely going to be here. There's, there's the dollar. She seems we can just keep using this guy. I'm just so convinced that we need to get in this blood bank and get the IV back to draw it. Hearts, we want hearts. No, hearts. Okay, if we don't get hearts in the next two, we'll just leave it. Okay, so bombs and hearts. Okay. Oh my god, it. Oh my god, just explode, please. Okay, just never mind. We've built up a lot of damage right now. We could probably take anything in the game. Probably even need to use the Bible on mum's heart right now. Oh look at that. Damage. <laughs> this is what we love for. This is what Isaac was built for. These crazy runs. All those guys just getting wiped right out. This is fantastic. They're dead, but we don't even need to care because the amount of stuff is just dropping for us right now. I could have just sat there all day probably trying to get hearts and play the blood bank and our damage would just have kept increasing but it's just, it just makes for boring viewing and I'll probably done it for much longer than I already should have in the first place, so don't want to bore you guys any further. Oh, there's not two hearts. <laughs> I just want to, don't want to be defeated by the blood bank. Some more money. Just wish it wasn't such a wee windy road either. If we even had a battery, we could just use flight to fly over it. Okay, so nothing, nothing doing for us there. Well, I mean, up again, it takes any half a heart. Nah. Well, it's definitely plain hard to get that IV bag. I don't think IV bag's the one I'm looking for. I think it's just blood bag. IV bag bag is the one you don't want. There's a tinted rock back there. I should probably check out. Oh, there it goes. That trip sucks, but we could get lucky right here and it wouldn't even matter. Ah, oh, just a bunch of bombs doesn't really doesn't really affect us one way or another. I think we're kinda safe to the boss. And that's it. Once we get to the boss, I think we're kinda golden on this front. And there's the boss right there. Well ladies and gentlemen, it has been a joy. There goes the heart. Down in absolutely no problem. Didn't get any access to shield or anything, but that's fine. Open the chest and in we get. Let's see what item we get this time. Alright, so we get the noose. <laughs> Pretty brutal ending, of course, but uh, the noose is kind of similar to the Bible actually, it gives you flight. It's called Transcendence. We also unlock solar system, which is a pretty crazy challenge. But um, yeah, that was great fun. I knew I had a good run in me. We just hadn't had the luck to build up a kind of not game breaking, but super powerful run. The one that would just carry us right through. We kind of got lucky there. That whole blood bank money situation. Humble and bundle came through. It was definitely item that changed the run, although it was kind of in the background. Uh, great, we've got a Samson completion, which is good. Uh, that makes so that Zazel, Isaac, and Samson have beaten the heart and. Zazel's also been greed mode, so that's pretty good. We're making good progress. We still have Judas to unlock, among some other secret characters, but until next time guys, I want to thank you for joining me here today. If you liked this video, please give it a like, share it among your friends even, maybe check out my channel and subscribe if you would like to, I'd really appreciate that. Um, you guys have been great fun today. It was a great run, I'm actually really happy about that, and next time we're probably going to run and do the daily run with Eve. But until then guys, stay out of the basement. <laughs>